So Elk Valley started in 2013 as a dream. Um, some equipment came up and we were able to purchase it and Elk Valley was born at that point. Um, we became a business in uh, November of 2013. So we've been kind of nomadic with our brewing. So Elk Valley's been, we started it off at Batter Boar. We have brewed at Chalk Brewing Company. And then when Mustang, I moved in with Mustang here a couple of years ago in 2015. And uh, so we started brewing with those guys over there for a while. And then now here we are in our own space and finally getting, getting our own home now. Love this location. We looked at several uh, places for Elk Valley to go and Elk Valley was, this was just kind of a home. I used to live not far from here and uh, that's where we started home brewing was not too far from here. So it kind of, kind of feels like, kind of feel like coming home in a way. So here as you can see we've got, our tanks are fully visible and our, our brew space is fully visible here. Uh, with all the all the windows and uh, we've got an open air patio which is pretty rare for Midtown Oklahoma City. Um, we've got this enormous and this wonderful market going in next door this next coming up spring. That's just going to be fantastic, the Hudson Street Market. We've got lots of restaurants going in there so we'll, we're already discussing collaborative events to, with some of the tenants that are going to be going in there as well. So we've got four, Elk Valley's got four core brands and four core beers that we do year round and that would be our Firefly Crew Whit Beer, our Ten Killer Pilsner, which is a, a new release that we just, that we just did, uh, Magic Juice, which is a Northeast style double IPA. We also have uh, Straight Razor Pale Ale, which is a American style pale ale. Uh, those are our four cores, and then we have some rotators like uh, throughout the seasons like Cucumber Saison and uh, Coffee Nemesis, and we have a lot of fun with barrel aging and, and sour beers that we like to produce throughout the years. So we've got a, a, quite a bit of um, quite a bit of in store for, for the folks here soon. You know, we're still, you know, almost at the very end per capita of breweries. We've got so much room to grow um, in the brewery side. There's plenty of space for, for many more to come in. Uh, you know, right now it's an exciting time because we're kind of in the beginning of it and we were kind of um, right there towards the beginning of all these uh, changes and we were there before the changes. So it helped us actually create this, this space that we're in now where we couldn't do that long ago with the laws the way they were.